Luis Domingo por la mañana, Pastor Jose and Patricia. We want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Band, as you can see up here on our slide. Where we honor God, love family, serve others, and pursue excellence. Amen. Amen. Welcome our NBC family. And we want to welcome all those of you that are joining us by audio and video. Amen. Prepare yourselves to receive. God has great things for you. He's not finished with you yet. Amen. So remember that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Amen. So you know by yourself. He said he never leaves us nor forsakes us. Amen. So praise God. Amen. So allow the word of God to bless you, encourage you, change you, and correct you. Today we're going to be talking about choose Jesus. Choosing Jesus. Amen. Then we get to do this on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. I have decided to follow Jesus. As a matter of fact, the praise team, thank you, and bless me. They sang that song. I have decided to follow Jesus. We can sing that song on a daily basis. But I have decided to follow Jesus on a daily basis. Amen. Amen. Not just once in a while. But all the time. Yes. Amen. Amen. So Amen. prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. Amen. Before we get started, I've got a little nugget to share with you. And uh, I'll try to make this long story short. Amen. So praise God. This is the what I want to share. It says, you may be the only Bible someone or somebody will ever read. Let's remember this. I've been saying this for a while, but... You may be the only Bible some people will ever see or be around or hear. Yeah. But anyway, this man named Bill, wild hair, wild shirt, holy shirt, holy pants, no shoes. He walks into church, and this shirt, church is, let me see, it says, is a very conservative church. Amen. So we've made some of these churches to just, you know, hey, accept uh, the elite. You know, our, our own little club, you know, it's not church anymore. It's just a little club. We're accepting our own kinds, you know. So we got to be very careful. So he decides to walk in and go to church. And guess what? The church is packed. Mm. He's looking for a place to sit. And nobody is uh, making room for him to sit. Yeah. So he walks all the way to the front. And then he says, well, I'm just going to sit here. So he squats down and he sits on the carpet. And there's tension. People are watching, and people don't like what they see, you know. They're wearing their nice little clothes, and the pastor is wondering, where's my ushers? Mm. So here comes a deacon. Way in the back is an old deacon, you know, and he's walking to the front. He's got a three-piece suit, gray hair, and with a cane. And he's walking. He's in his 80s. And he walks to the front, and everybody's just waiting. Oh, good, you know, he's going to take care of this. He walks all the way to the front when he gets in front of this, right by this man, this this visitor, as best as he could, mm -hmm. he squats down and he sits with them. Amen. Like I said, long story short. Yes, amen. But finally the minister gains control and he says, When I'm about to preach, you'll probably forget. Before you get out the doors. He says, what you've just seen, you'll never forget. Amen. Amen. Let's remember, we are the church. We're the body of Christ. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And we try to put real rules and regulations and all these things people can't even meet. Yeah. And close the doors on just about everybody, <laughs> including Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> we got to stop this, you know. Amen. He says, what... I'm about to preach. You'll probably never remember. Mm -hmm. He says, but what you've seen, you'll never forget. Yeah. Well, you got to remember, we're the church, the body of Christ. we got to let the love and compassion of Christ flow through us. Amen? Mm -hmm. So let's remember this. Be careful how you live. Be careful of your words, your actions. Yeah. And be careful where you worship. You know, if they're not preaching the word of God, uh -huh. don't hang out. Amen. We're going to be talking about traditions and mindsets, you know. Oh, we're more concerned about our traditional ways that we are about God's ways. Yeah. You know, we need to stop that. So once again, you may be the only Bible some people will ever read. Mm -hmm. That's you. They're looking at you. They're watching you. They may not say anything. You just right. trip and you'll see. Mm -hmm. Somebody will walk up to you and say, I thought you was a Christian. Mm -hmm. I thought you was a child of God. I thought you was a believer. 
Mm. I say, oh my God, you know. Anyway, I just want to share this thing with you, mm. you know, because uh, if we're going to have church, we got to be open for yes. whoever comes through those doors, you know. And we got to let the love and compassion of God flow through us and right. receive them. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Lord. Praise God. Well, let's make this declaration together. Yes. Grab your swords. Grab your Bibles. Amen. You warriors of God. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Here's mine. Where's yours? <laughs> okay. This is my Bible. I am, I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive, and I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Man, that blessed me. You can say amen and uh, go home. <laughs> Praise God. I've got this little nugget on the bottom of here, and you can write this for yourself. It says, a church alive is worth the drive. A church alive is worth the walking. Amen. Are you ever within walking distance? Come on. We want to take you. We want to accept you. If you don't have a home church, we can make this a home church. Amen. So praise God. We're going to be talking about choose Jesus. Yeah. We have choices we make on a daily basis. So let's choose Jesus. Amen. A new change, a new beginning, a new way of life. Yeah. Choose Jesus who is there for us always. Mm -hmm. And not choose those things that seek to destroy us. John 10.10. 10. Mm -hmm. Yes, there you go. Let's choose Jesus. Keep going. John 10.10 10 says this. It says a thief. The enemy, the devil, whatever you want to call him, that's the only enemy you have. Okay, it's not your next door neighbor, it's not your friend or ex friends or whatever. Right. Says the thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. That's his yeah. mission. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> I have come, Jesus says, I have come that you might have life, mm -hmm. that they might have life, and that they might have it more, more abundantly. Yeah. Amen. So choose Jesus yes. if you want the abundant life, if you want to be blessed. Amen. So we're talking about choosing Jesus. Keep going, Carl. I choose Jesus because he loved me. Amen. Because he first loved me. We're going to be talking about that in a few minutes. So I have decided to follow Jesus. Uh, John 3.16 in the uh, easy to read verse, it says, Yes, Jesus loved the world so much that he gave his only son. So that everyone who believes in him or yeah. chooses him would not be lost, but have eternal life. Mm -hmm. Amen. You got to make a choice. You know, says uh, Jesus, uh, God says, hot or cold. Yeah. But not lukewarm. Amen. You got to make a choice. If you're lukewarm, it's between, you know, you're trying to do and Jesus and the world at the same time. You know, you can't do that. You got to choose. Hot or cold, he said, I'll receive it, I'll accept you. He says, but if you look warm, he says, I'll vomit you out of my mouth. Yeah. He said, I'll spew you out. Amen. Woo, come on now. <laughs> Keep going. You got some good ones for you. There you go. John 3.16, uh, King James says, For God so loved the world. We're talking about people. We're talking about world. We're talking about people. For God so loved his people. What did he do? He gave his only begotten son that yes. will believe in him and choose him. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Should not perish, but have everlasting life. Right. How do I get everlasting life? Mm -hmm. Choose Jesus. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you chosen Jesus? Mm -hmm. Amen. If not, this is your day. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Keep going. Amen. <laughs> here we go. Here's a choice right here. Mm -hmm. King James says, Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except to the Father but by me. Okay. Amen. That's King James. Uh -huh. Okay. So, go one more, Carmen. This is, okay. I like this too. Yeah. You see the gap? That gap right there is a sin gap. Man is on one side. God is on the other side. And the only way between that gap is Jesus. Uh -huh. Amen. I like that. Man says that I am the way, the truth, and the life. Uh -huh. Jesus is right there. Saith unto him, God, with God says, no one cometh through the Father except through me. Yes, yeah. If you're someone going somewhere and somebody's saying other ways to get to the Father, uh -huh. you better get out of there. Yeah. <laughs> and you better study the Word so you can find out what the Word says yeah, that's it. about this, you know. 
have scripture about it. John 4, 6, excuse me, John 14, 6. Uh -huh. He says, I, Jesus said, Jesus says, I am yes. the way. And the Amplified says, keep, keep going. Okay, I'll read it to you from the Amplified. The Amplified says this. The Amplified said, Jesus said unto him, I am the only way uh -huh. to God and the real truth and the real life no one comes to the father but through me mm -hmm. that's the amplified jesus says i am the only way to god and the real truth and the real life no one comes to the father but through me so guess what <laughs> wow if you're a real smart person all you have to say is i need to choose jesus mm -hmm. if i want an eternal life Yes, yeah. amen. You know, if you want eternal life, you can have eternal life in heaven, or you can have eternal life in hell. Which yeah. one do you choose? <laughs> he tells us, uh, you you can choose life, you can choose death. Mm -hmm. You know, right. and, and he tells us, choose life. Yes. He gives us a hint. Yeah, he gives us a hint. Choose life. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, Lord. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. But, you know, can you grasp this? God sacrificing his only son mm -hmm. for us to gain us back. Mm -hmm. Salvation is free, yes. but you have to receive him. Yeah. You have to accept it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's a free gift. Salvation is a free gift. Somebody has you a gift, you have to stretch out and receive it and take it. When you take it, it's yours. Yeah. But you have to do something. To receive him, you have to confess with your mouth not with mom, dad, or somebody else. The pastor. No. You got to confess with your mouth that yes. Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead and you shall be saved. saved. Amen. We're going to go through those scriptures over and over and over. We're studying these things. Amen. We study, 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 and meditate on the things of God. Amen. Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 19 through 20. There we go. It says, I call heaven and earth as witnesses against you today that I have set before you life and death, blessings and curses. Choose life. <laughs> That's a big hint. Choose yeah. life, what? Yeah. So that you may, so that you and your descendants may yeah. live. Amen. Love the Lord your God. Obey Him and remain faithful to Him. Yeah. For He is your life and He will prolong your life in the land that the Lord swore to give to your father Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yeah. Amen. This is from the word of God. Yeah. Amen. This is not just something I heard from somebody said. Well, can you give me scripture for it? No, but somebody said. Well, we need to stop listening to what somebody said. Yeah. yeah. Unless there's scripture to it. Yeah. That's Amen. Who come on here? <laughs> yeah. Praise God. The end. I well, I'm not. Go one more. Here we go. It says, choose you this day whom you will serve. But as for me and my house, we were going to serve the Lord. Yes. Yeah. He made a choice. As for me and my house, as for me and my family, we're going to choose to serve the Lord. Right. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You need to make this decision for yourself also. Amen. Don't let nobody else tell you what you need to do. Amen. Except you choose Jesus. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. Keep going, honey. There you go. Don't settle for anything less. Choose Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. This is, I don't have to say, it's like right there for yourself. Yeah. Amen. Thank God for slides. But it says, don't <laughs> settle for anything less. That's it. We settle for anything. Mm -hmm. You know, because if we're not in the spirit and we don't renew our minds to the things of God, in this battle, the, the battlefield of the mind, we can choose, we can be in the flesh and choose yeah. just anything right. that comes because anything is appealing to you. Yeah. So be careful. <laughs> Keep going. I like this. Huh. So, what? I have decided today, this day and yeah. every day, to follow Jesus. Yeah. And you need to do this, you know, because the world is going to try to distract you mm -hmm. and put all kinds of things in front of you and say, hey, we want you to come with us. We want you to do this. We want you to do that. Mm -hmm. See, I have decided to follow Jesus. And you know, with me being sold out to Jesus, 
is going to take me from all these distractions. I'm going to continue to go straight. Amen. Amen. Straight and narrow. You know, hey, the, the way to hell is wide. And many people going. And you know, sometimes we want to hang out with the crowds, but sometimes the crowds are going the wrong way. Yes. And sometimes narrow is the way yeah. to the Father. So we got to be and do the right thing. Amen. Keep going. There we go. In the morning when I rise, give me Jesus. Amen. Every morning, every day, give me Jesus. But we have to make this choice. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I'm looking for a scripture. Keep going. Okay, here we go. You didn't choose me, but I chose you. This is what God tells us. And I'm going to read it to you from two uh, translations here. The Amplified says this. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. And I have appointed and placed and purposely planted you so that you would go and bear fruit and keep bearing. And that your fruit will remain and be lasting. So that whatever you ask the Father in my name, as my representative, he may give you. Right. Yeah. Amen. He said, you have not chosen me. I have chosen you. Uh -huh. Amen. You know, we just got to get the thing straight. And yes. get off the throne and put him on the throne. Amen. 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 So praise God. The, the easy to read version says this. You did not choose me. I, cho I choose you. Yeah. And I gave you this work to go and produce fruit. Fruit that would last. Then the Father will give you anything you ask for in my name. Yeah. This is just down in plain. Amen. It says, you do not choose me. I choose you. And you know, he put a calling in your life. You're not here for nothing. The world would have you say, you know, uh, you're no good. You're not qualified. You you know, you just, you just ain't got what it takes for this. Mm -hmm. But Jesus says, I'll take you. <laughs> He says, I called you, I equipped you, I anointed you to do what I want you to do. Amen. Yes. But you got to stay connected to the Father. You got to stay connected to Him. Yeah. Away from Him is destruction. Yeah. Amen. The enemy comes, steal, kill, destroy. Yeah. You get away from Father's protection, Psalms 91 tells us. You get away from uh, God's protection, guess what? Mm -hmm. you're, you're gone. Mm -hmm. Amen. You got to be careful. Like the prodigal son. We're going to be talking about that too. Yeah. The prodigal son getting away from the things of God. Getting away from Father. Yeah. And next thing you know mm -hmm. is the world's going to have you mm -hmm. quick. Yep. You ain't no match for the world. You ain't no match to the enemy. Remember, part-time believers, no match to a full-time devil. It. And he is full-time. Yeah. Amen. Without, and without God and without the word, uh -huh. you're easy. Huh. Amen. He's ready for you. Yeah. Easy pray. Easy pray. Yeah. Easy. Easy. Mm -hmm. Again, Joshua 24, 15, uh, 15 says, But as for me and my household, we yeah. will serve the Lord. I choose to serve God. Amen. Amen. So, what stops us from completely giving ourselves to Jesus? Huh. To surrender totally. Yeah. To submit ourselves as Jesus did. Mm -hmm. And he's our greatest example. Yes, he, he surrendered himself, he gave himself, and he gave up heaven to come and be sacrificed for us. Mm -hmm. You think that was easy? Mm -hmm. You think knowing that he's the son of a living God and come and live in daily in front of people that are just harassing him, giving him a bad time mm -hmm. on a daily basis, he goes yeah. to the Father and says, Lord, I need your strength. Amen. And we talked about this in Bible study, but you know, when uh, Moses led the people out of Egypt, finally, these people complaining all the time. They're getting fed, they're getting all, all kind of nice, good right. things, and still they're complaining. And they say, well, you know, we'd rather be back in bondage. We'd rather be back in, in Egypt, you know. Finally, Moses went before God and told God, he said, if I got to put up with these people, you know, just kill me. That's what, that's what it says. You go read it. So God says, okay, I'll send some help. So he said one from each tribe, you know, a leader from each tribe to go. But he says, I'm going to put the same vision I gave Moses on each each, each one of you. Yes. Right. Amen. So we're not to be different. We're still going to be in unity. Mm -hmm. And we're going to work in unity as a body of Christ. Right. Amen. Ooh, man. So yeah. you did not choose me. I choose you. Yes. Amen. 
you see. So what stops us? Mm. Possessions. Listen to this. What stops us? Uh, possessions, belongings, good goods, wealth. Some of these are distractions. Amen. What stops us? Popularity. Huh. Approval. Acceptance. Mm -hmm. Fame. Reputation. Mm. Man, I'm the fonts, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. Popular approval. Yeah. You know, we're seeking man's approval yeah. instead of God's approval. Right, right. You know, when you have God's approval, I don't care what people think. Uh -huh. I'm here to please you, Lord. Yes. Amen. Because I'm never going to, I'm never going to live up to what they want me to do. Yes. Amen. I'm never going to please them. Mm -hmm. But with God, you know, yep. I'll be, you'll be pleased. Amen. Yeah. Praise, Praise God. God. Thank you, Lord. Here's another one. Fear. Fear. What's some of the things that stop us? Fear, anxieties, worries, distress, fright. Panic. Some of the things that stop us from doing what God has called us to do. Yeah. Amen. We got to get out of ourselves. We got to get in the Word. Renew mm -hmm. your mind with the things of God and press on yeah. and step out in faith. You know, yeah. when you fill yourself with the Word, mm -hmm. it's going to fill you with faith. Yeah. Amen. Your faith is going to grow. Yeah. And when your faith grows, fears has got to go. Mm -hmm. And when the fears goes, I'm going to step out in faith and do what God has called me to do. Because what? The Bible says I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. When you start believing in yourself, believing what the Word of God says about you, you're going to press on and be a champion for Jesus just like he wants. See yourself the way he sees you. A warrior, a champion, an overcomer. See yourself that way. Amen? Quit living in the past. Quit living on what people say or what people branded you to be. Yeah, That's not what God branded you. That's not what God called you to, to do or be. Amen. That's it. He called you to win, not lose. Amen. Mm -hmm. He put us here to win. Some other things. <laughs> Procrastination. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. <laughs> um, let me see. I'll start off with, uh, let's say, uh, putting off, postponing. Tomorrow. Uh, thank you. Manana. <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow. tomorrow stalling <laughs> delaying these things procrastination uh, well you know hey I've got tomorrow tomorrow but what the Bible says tomorrow is not granted to you now thank now, you. now 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 we got to do it now amen now is the right time but some of the things that stop us procrastination putting off and putting mm -hmm. off and putting off you know <laughs> and failures you know, and all of us have failed once in a while, and we let the past have yeah. us. Yeah. You know, so and we we just don't don't let these things control us. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Know that you can do all things through Christ. All things. All things through Christ, not all just things some things. Christ. All things through Christ. Amen. Know what the word says. So nobody can try to slide in and say different. Yeah. Or try to teach you something different. Right. Somebody said different, you know, and not preaching the word of God. Mm. Go somewhere else. Why are you still stuck there, you know? Yes. We're talking about traditions, mm, you know. Gosh. And if you're not studying for yourself, you're going to be stuck in tradition. And that is not a good thing. Jesus is willing to change you. Listen. But you won't violate. He won't violate your will. That's it. He right. gave you a will. He won't violate your will. Yeah. He won't come in. He says, I'm God. Mm. He could come in if he wanted to. Remember Doubt and Thomas? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> they were in the upper room. Mm. Twice Jesus came and walked right in. Mm. Doors were locked. Windows were locked. Everything was locked and Jesus walked in. Now, <laughs> mm -hmm. still, he won't violate your will. He's knocking, mm -hmm. but he won't go, won't go through. Uh -huh. He could if he wanted to, but he won't. Because you have your own will and you have to choose. Are you yeah. going to choose Jesus today or not? Mm -hmm. That's up to you. And he's not going to force you. That's if it. you choose to bring yourself to heaven or you choose to go to hell, mm -hmm. that's your choice. Right. Not his. He's done what he has to do. We got to do what we must do. Amen. He says, Amen. Jesus, 
is willing to change you, are you going to trust him? Are you going to open up? But he, he won't violate your will. You must be willing. It's your choice. He's knocking, and we need to open the door. Amen. We've been holding that door too close forever. Yeah. Yes. In Mark uh, chapter 10, verses 17, through, uh, verses 17 through 27, mm -hmm. we're talking about a, a story of a, a rich young ruler. Uh -huh. Right. Mark tells us Jesus loved him. Yeah. But unless you submit to Christ and are willing to allow him to change you, uh -huh. this young man refused to be changed, yeah. choosing to walk away from eternal life. Uh -huh. Amen. In uh, Acts 26 and 28, uh, King Agrippa said unto Paul, Almost thou persuadest me to be a Christian. Almost. Almost, Almost ain't good enough. That's it. Amen. Almost is not good enough. Amen. You got to do the right thing. Amen. You got to say the right thing. You got to confess him as your Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. And not try to be a people pleaser, uh -huh. man pleaser, right. whatever. But be a God pleaser. Amen. He says almost is not good enough. Almost is bad as uh, lukewarm. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to be lukewarm. You want to be That's it. hot or cold. Well, I'm going to say hot for Jesus, amen. Luke 15, uh, 11 through 32 is talking about the prodigal son. Mm -hmm. You know, the prodigal son finally went to the father and says, hey, I got some things coming to me. I want them. I'm going to do my own thing. And he took off. And guess what? He, he lost it all. Yeah, yeah. Found out, found himself with the, with the hogs, eating with the hogs, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> and that's not a nice thing. No. He finally came in sense and says, you know, I could do better at Father's house. Yeah. You know, some of us have gone through whatever uh -huh. and found ourselves with the hogs, oh. with the bad things. Amen. Found ourselves maybe <laughs> locked up or whatever. Still, we can do better with him. Yeah. Say, Lord, here I am. Change me. Uh -huh. He says, I've been waiting. Yeah. And you know, it just takes one word. And he's right there. You're doing a about face. And your face is God. And he's right there with you. He's right there for you. He never leaves you nor forsakes you. Amen. But you can do that. Turn around. Let go and let God. You know what we need to do? We need to type this and post it to remind us on a daily basis. Yes. Put it somewhere. You know, hey, we do it for work. We put all kinds of little notes for ourselves, you know, to, for work. Do this, do this, do this. And we got it all over. At work, we got it at home. We got it everywhere for work. Mm -hmm. But we can't do it for the things of God. Mm -hmm. You know, hey, before I step out, you know, I got it right on there. <laughs> you know, choose Jesus. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 let go. Let God. Uh -huh. So I can see that, you know. Remind myself. Amen. Renew my mind to the things of God daily, often. Amen. Come on now. Amen. Choose to change and give back to God what is already His. Oh, gosh. Yes. Your life. <laughs> For God so loved the world. Uh -huh. Take the whole world, but give me Jesus. Give keep, me. Going, keep going. <clears throat> this is going to be a, a two part or a three part, you know. <laughs> I got a long ways to go. <laughs> <laughs> King James says, "Ye have not chosen me, but yeah. I have chosen you mm -hmm. and ordained you." Yeah. Okay, you talk, everywhere you see you, put mm -hmm. your name there. Mm -hmm. Amen. Ordained you that you that ye you <laughs> should go and bring forth fruit, yeah. and that your fruit should remain. Yeah. That yeah. whatsoever mm -hmm. ye shall ask of the Father in my name, mm -hmm. He will give it to you. Yes. He's not holding things from you. You're holding things from you by not do, choosing to be His. Right. Amen. So you have to be careful. You must turn loose of the excuse things and things that hold us back. We just went through a few. There's more. I just gave you a few. There's more than that. <laughs> we must turn loose of ex uh, excuses and things that hold us back. Yeah. Amen. Keep us from receiving and enjoying all God has for us. We have a, you ever played cards? We have a deck of cards and it's full of excuses. 
<laughs> so one, one day we pull one and say, well, what excuse am I going to use today? Uh, how do you think Jesus feels? How many excuses have you, has he heard, you know? Uh-huh. All right. Come on. Jesus paid the price. He's given us salvation. He's given us heaven. He's given us eternal life. Yeah. And blessings. Mm -hmm. So get off your cozy yama. Get up from the comfy area you're given. <laughs> give, <laughs> give up all excuses. Right. Step out in faith. And get to serving him. Mm -hmm. Be a participator yes. and not a spectator. You know what spectators do? They just look and judge. That's not good enough. I could have done it better. Yeah. But you're still sitting yeah. on your corner and down <laughs> and not doing anything for, for him. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. I tell you what, you want to you want to see a real man? Jesus. Mm -hmm. Knowing he left heaven. To be, come and be sacrificed yes, right? yes. and still do the Father's work. And we haven't even gone through what He went through. That's it. On a daily basis, mm -hmm. give yourself, choose Him, and follow Him. <coughs> Amen. Amen. Decide to follow Him now. Yes. It's time to step out of your boat. Uh -huh. Everybody step uh -huh. out, you know. <laughs> we must step out of our boat daily for Jesus. Choose Him daily. First, uh, Philippians 4.13 says what? I, I, Jose, put your name there. Mm -hmm. Jose can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. First John 4.4 4 says, Ye are of God, little children, uh -huh. and have overcome them because he who is in you is greater than he that is in the world. That's it. When, when David saw Goliath, yeah. he wasn't afraid. He knew that greater was he that was in him than he that's in the world. Mm -hmm. Well, he knew his God was there for him. Amen? Yeah. They hadn't received Jesus yet. Mm -hmm. But he knew God was stronger mm -hmm. and bigger than his problem. Yeah. His giant. What giants are you facing? Amen? Mm -hmm. You can do all things through Christ. That's it. Then your God is bigger than whatever giants are coming against you. Let go. Let go of all excuses that are holding you back. Everyone gets a chance at a new start, at a new beginning. Mm -hmm. Let's go to uh, St. Corinthians 5.17. We've read this many times, but it's never old. The Word of God never gets old. Amen? Yeah, yeah. You know, as a matter of fact, it grows on you. Mm -hmm. And it's called maturing. Yeah. Because that same scripture we've read over and over now means something different to you. I say, yeah. wow. You know, you're climbing up that maturing ladder and you're going you know what what they say about new levels new devils yes, that's it. you got to be careful and you got to be ready because yes. them devils are ready for you oh, yeah. but you got to be they ain't going to surprise me <laughs> because i'm going to be ready for them Amen. and i'm going to tell them where to go <laughs> you got to tell them go to hell <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's what they belong <laughs> okay same corinthians 517. Yeah, everybody knows this, but let's let's read it again. Are you there? I need to get there. <laughs> oh, praise God. A reconciling ministry. It says, therefore, if any man be in Christ, what? He is a new creature. And talking about men, we're talking about men, women, children. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Amen. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Yes. You know, people try to sell you that, you know, hey, once you've done it, that past, huh. you, that's it. There's no forgiveness. Yeah. You know, God is doing do this, God, this, and God, that. Well, that's not what the Word of God says. That's it. That's it. Amen. So, saying if you're in Him, you're a new creature in Christ. Amen. That's the oldest past. Behold, all things have become all what? Have become new. New. How many you preach in Christ? You had a spiritual birth. You were rebirthed. You were reborn in the spirit. Yes, amen. Let's remember. Let's remember. Let's remember this. You still look the same? Yeah. Physically. But spiritually, I am born again. Yes. And you gotta start reading the word and start doing what the word of God tells you. Yes. Because people still see the same you yeah. physically with their eyes. And they expect the same thing. But they're not going to get the same thing. I say, you're talking about somebody else. 
that's not you anymore. And the enemy is going to come and he's going to try to get you to do the same old thing. He says, ah, I'm going to take authority over you. I'm going to submit myself to God, resist you, and you've got to go. Yeah. I'm going to tell you how it's done now. So get under my feet. Yes. You try to start taking authority over him now. Say, wow, I can't overcome this person anymore. I can't do this. I can't do that. That's right. I'm a new creature in Christ. Yeah. Old things are past. Behold, old things are past and old the new things have come. Amen. Let me see, I lost my spot. Anyway, let's let's read on. All things are of God and hath reconciled to uh, us to himself by Christ Jesus, by Jesus Christ, and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. Mm -hmm. Has given us yeah. who called you? He did. He did. Also, he's given you a ministry of reconciliation. Yes. Well, I'm not called a ministry. He's given you a ministry of reconciliation. Yeah. You, the body of Christ, the mm -hmm. church, going as a as the Bible closest to some of these new people that are lost. Mm -hmm. Amen. Reconciling people to Christ, sharing Jesus. Amen. To them, bringing the good news to yeah. them. Amen. And sharing with them for them to come to Christ. Amen. Right. Come on now. Amen. To wit, that God was in Christ reconciling the world to, unto uh, Himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them. That's it. Oh, you know He's gonna hold it against you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you no. Know? And He has uh, committed unto us the word of reconciliation. Yes. Amen. It says now then we are ambassadors of Christ, as though God did beseech you by us uh -huh. we pray you in christ stand uh -huh. be ye reconciled to god for he has made him to be sin for us uh -huh. who knew no sin that we might be made righteousness of god in him amen. so you're a minister of reconciliation yeah amen you're an ambassador guess who's going to be god's mouthpiece on earth mm -hmm. yeah. his body yeah. Yeah. you're going to bring the word to yeah. them yeah. who's he going to use He's going to use you. Yeah. So no, you know, you can't go around saying, well, you know, God never uses me. Hmm. Well, it's time that you open the door yeah. and God in and start yes. doing what he wants you to do. What is yeah. it you want me to do? He'll share, he'll share and he'll tell you. Amen. So don't exclude yourself. Yes. Include yourself. Participator, yes. not spectator. Yes. Amen. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Oh. You, Woo, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Get off your cold and say, I like that. <laughs> Everyone gets a chance to be new. Mm -hmm. 2 Corinthians 5, 17 is your choice. Confessing and living or dying and frying yeah. is your choice. Yeah. <laughs> you can write that down. Oh, confessing yeah. and living. <laughs> confessing him and living eternal life or dying and frying. Yeah. You're going to do either one. But it's your choice. So I want to encourage you. There is hope in him, Jesus some don't accept change or new beginnings very well at all. We are so set in our ways. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Have you listen, have you ever tried to work with concrete that is already set? It didn't work. <laughs> it ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna happen. You know, we're so set in our traditions, we're so set in our ways. Amen. Then we're not giving in. This is the way I was born. Mm -hmm. This is the way we do it. Ain't going to be no other way. Mm -hmm. Jesus says, I am the only way. Mm -hmm. He said, no, there ain't no other way. That's this it. is the way it's going to be. Yeah. We're so set in our ways. Mm -hmm. But when concrete sets, you know, you, you do concrete and it's wet. <laughs> and you give it a few yeah. days for it to set and, right. and, 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 uh, and get hard. Mm -hmm. When it gets hard, you ain't going to mess with it. That's it. Ain't nothing going to happen there. Mm -mm. Our set ways of life, our mindsets, our traditions are already set and hard to work with. We're not giving in. Mm. We're not opening up. Mm -mm. Not even to Jesus. No, Jesus. And we have to be That's careful Lord. with that. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And this is, this is for real. This is happening. This is happening. Yeah. Amen. In the last days. <laughs> yes. In the last days. Things are going to be muy ugly. Mm. Worse than what it is now. Yes. Amen. So we got to prepare ourselves. 
and you're not strong in a word, uh -huh. we can fall. Absolutely. We can, we got we got to stay strong yeah. in the word. Yes. We gotta stay connected with yeah, our source. Yes, we is. gotta stay connected to the vine. Yeah. If we're this if we're severed from the vine, we ain't nothing. Mm. We're gonna be taken. Yeah. Amen. But it's up to you to keep pressing on. He's, that's what he says, is just press on. Forget the past and press on. Yep. Amen. What he told he destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. He says, You guys leave. Don't not leave. Mm -hmm. But don't look back. Mm -hmm. The enemy wants you to look back oh, at your past. And he wants to keep you in prison yes. in the past. And you're gonna stay there forever and ever and ever. Let it go. That was just a time we was just passing through. We're not we're not we're not gonna camp out there anymore. Uh -huh. Amen. Right, amen. Listen to this. You don't want anyone or anything to mess up our set ways, yeah. our mindsets, uh -huh. our traditions, our easy patterns, our comfy ways. That's all we want. This flesh is flesh. And it wants the comfy ways all the time. Hey, the cowboys are on. Oh, no, they play tonight. Oh, yeah. Oh, well. Help us. Hurry up, Pastor. Help some, some are going like this, you know. So, oh, my God. <laughs> we are so set, so, so set. We are so very comfy doing our thing at home, at work, our time off, and any time. Oh, Jesus. And we got time for anything except Jesus. Jesus. We got time for everything but God. Uh -huh. Amen. Come on now. Right. Oh, Pastor, you're preaching good. Thank you, Pastor. Let <laughs> me see. You know, you don't have no stones on you. <laughs> We're so set in our ways, just like concrete. Only the potter can help us. Remember, he's the potter. We're the clay. Amen. So, you know, he's not finished with us. He's going to mold us and shape us and reshape us. The way he wants us. Yeah. Amen. Change me, Lord. Yeah, he's going to change you. But you got to open up. Yeah. yeah. He's not going to violate the, your will. That's you got to invite him in. Yeah. And when you invite him in, he'll do. Amen. He says, mm -hmm. oh, you know, you can do all things through me. Yeah. Amen. So right. praise God. Yeah. Isaiah uh, 64, 8 through 9. And we're going to close with this. Amen. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> An easy to read version, but God, you are the Father. We are like clay, and you are the Potter. Your uh -huh. hands made us all. Yes. Amen. Lord, don't continue to be angry with us. Don't remember our sins forever. Mm -hmm. Please look at us. We are all your people. Remember John three sixteen. For God so loved His people. For God so loved the world. Yeah. Amen. So he's going to remold us, reshape us, change us, and we're going to start a new way. We're going to start a new beginning. Amen. Amen. We're going to start a new life. Yes. But know there is hope for you. Yeah. With him, there is hope. Yes. With him, uh, we can do all things. No. Amen. So let's 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 remember this. This is good. We're going to continue from this here. Is good. Amen. So, Amen. I hope you did. You get something from it. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> I hope so. I did too. So let's go, Father. We just thank you for the opportunity Amen. to share your word, Father God. Help us to grow and go for you, Father. Help us to, to let go and Amen. let you, Father, have your way in our lives. Amen. So praise God. Amen. So we're going to give you opportunity. Yes. Give. If you're watching and listening and you'd like to give your tithe, the offerings, you still can do that. You go to our website. It's on the screen there, nbcbigben.com, and hit that donate button. Or if you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, uh, 79843. And now you can give by Cash App at New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. Yes, amen. So praise God. Thank you, Father. And, uh, if you need healing in your body, we're believing and we're there for you. The yeah. Bible says that by Jesus Christ, you're healed. Yeah. Amen. So I speak it over myself. Yeah. The Spirit of infirmity, you must go. Amen. And I thank you, Father, that by Jesus Christ, we are healed from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet. Yeah. And any malfunctions in this body, we call it well. And we call it heal now in Jesus' name. Amen. So yeah. praise God. Thank you, Lord. Also, you know, I don't want to close until we give you an opportunity. If this is your day yes. to choose Jesus, if you haven't before, or if you want to rededicate yourself, 
You know, yeah. now's the time. All you have to do is say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life and be my Lord and Savior. Lord. I choose you. Yeah. I choose Jesus this day and every day yeah. for the rest of my life. And I'm going to press on and grow and go for you in yes. Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Amen. Remember, God loves you and we love you. Amen. Thank you. Amen.